What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching Living in Denver Metro North. You came, you saw, and we listened. This is the city that we're gonna cover today that you asked for, and so we're trying to, to dig in a little bit. Yep, we're gonna be talking about the true cost of living of Broomfield, Colorado. All right, here we go. Here we go, your Colorado real estate family peep and Chelsea Sweeney here and we take our margaritas frozen, no salt. You hear these little cool things <laughs> it's coming up with? Now I want a margarita. <laughs> I'm, sure they, I'm sure they do too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you haven't done so already, uh, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. We are making new videos every single week and we are hearing from you. We love it. We're getting busy and we want to continue to make videos for you guys. If you want to reach out directly, go ahead and um, call or text that phone number. Where is it? No, Can't no. really tell. Where's our finger? There we go. There it Somewhere. is. There it is. <laughs> um, if you want to call us directly, we are answering. Um, you can leave us a voicemail if we don't answer. If we're with another client, we want to be able to call you back right away and you'll be hearing from us same day. So uh, let us know. Yeah, guys. I mean, we approach these videos as a family, as natives, and as licensed real estate agents, right? We have some hardcore knowledge here and we love bringing this content. That way, if you're planning on moving to the Denver metro area, where are you guys? We got all the knowledge that you need in order to know what you need to know, which cities you want to live in. So here we go. All right, so when you're talking about Broomfield, it is your ultimate suburbia area. Like it's the, the place you're thinking about when you're thinking about white picket fence, families getting together, soccer in the parks. That's Broomfield. That is the epitome of Broomfield. And until recently when they started building the Risto where you had like the first bank center and such, that's all it was. They kind of have that downtown now and they brought that in, but I mean, Broomfield is just family area all over. And it's just houses, you know, you got your attached and detached. And a fun fact, Broomfield is the only other city besides Denver that has its own dedicated county. They did that back in 2001. So um, they did that mainly because they have a huge dedication and uh, Chelsea's gonna go into that a little bit. Yeah, so with Broomfield, um, they have an ambitious goal. I hope you guys can hear us with this win. Um, it's a beautiful day out right now. We're in June, it is what? 88 degrees. It's like high 80s, like yeah. A really yeah. beautiful breeze. Sorry, I digress. Okay, so um, Broomfield has an ambitious goal of 40% of open space and parks, which is wonderful. We're actually sitting in uh, Quail Creek right now. It's a park that I take the kids to often. Um, they have a nice little playground, but just a ton of area to run. So not only that, there's an obstacle, probably like what, a couple blocks from here? Not far, Oh, right? the obstacle course thing? Yeah, it's super cool. So yeah, obstacle courses outside. I mean, parks everywhere, walking paths everywhere. Um, this lake, is it McKay? Uh, what is it? Mc I think it's McKay. Is McKay, it McKay like, you got McKay Shores yeah. right here, this little water yeah. park thing. Yeah, and here. so, I mean, if you, yeah, if you can hear, there's like kids in the background. But honestly, like Broomfield is super pretty, has so many places you could take the kids um, just to go run. There's that, uh, that there's lakes everywhere. So um, the other thing is um, Flatirons Mall. We, I don't know, we've talked about <coughs> Flatirons Mall and Superior. We talked about the open space in our uh, vlog videos. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, but we talk about Broomfield, we touch on it a couple different times. And one of the reasons that Broomfield's really popular is our uh, Flatirons Mall, uh, which is, you know, we have a couple malls here, um, but Flatirons Mall is, is an indoor, 
uh, mall that is literally just so fun to be at. No matter what time of year it is, you can always go to Flatirons Mall. I mean, it's definitely, there's so many things to do here in Broomfield, so. Yeah. You go to Flatirons quite a bit. I do go to Flatirons quite a bit. <laughs> I'm not a big shopper, don't let him fool you. Like, I'm the like clearance kind of shopping girl, you know? Like, I can buy things for my house, but I don't spend a ton of money. Sometimes you just go there just to go there. Like, I let's know. just go walk around in Flatirons. It's just fun. <laughs> I mean, like, taking the kids out is my jam, so. Yeah. All right, cool, guys. Well, let's uh, go ahead and dive in a little bit to the cost of living in Broomfield. So uh, if you watch our other videos, go check out our other cost of living videos. We did an Arvada one. Uh, what are the cities that we do? Okay, let's we see. did the three, oh, the cost of living in Denver Metro North, whatever. So check out the videos. We did a few other cost of living videos. Oh, Westminster, we did Westminster. Westminster. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we, we, we have a baseline, right? We have 100 is like your national average. And then so what we do is we base it based off of the, the national average. If you're higher, it's more expensive than your national average. If it's lower, then of course it's lower than your national average. And Broomfield, uh, it's pretty much higher across the board. So on like as a whole, let's say Broomfield, all the costs all together, it's at a 132.2 out of 100. So Broomfield is definitely more expensive than your national average, but I mean, you pay what you get for. Like I so said, when you're here, your parks are beautiful, your houses are all upkept, everything is super beautiful here. Like I said, if you're looking at the ultimate suburbia, this is it. Yeah, and honestly, in comparison overall to Colorado, Colorado's already a 122. Yeah. So Colorado's a little bit of high of, above national average, and then Broomfield is kind of, you know, just tilting. He, there, it's one of the main reasons it is, is because it's so beautiful right here. So yeah. I'll talk a little bit about, obviously, groceries. We try to stay the same categories if you haven't seen our other cost of living, so you guys can kind of compare. Apples to um, apples. Yeah, apples exactly. Apples to oranges. <laughs> apples to pears. Okay, pears. <laughs> what? Um, okay, pears groceries. So it's at a 102.5. Uh, Colorado being 100.7, so just a little bit above the national average. Um, so nothing like crazy or anything there. No. Oops, I touched the, slammed the table. Slammed the table. Um, it's easy then, to do when you get excited. <laughs> I know. Uh, utilities is actually under, it's a 97.6, so that's interesting. I don't know what would contribute to that, but. Well, I mean, just local utilities. So Excel is pretty good about that. Um, you know, we have we have two main gas power company, or uh, gas companies, and Excel is usually a little cheaper. United Power is the other one when you go a little further east. So that probably has something to do with it because United is a little bit more expensive than That's Excel. true. We're yep. on United in our place and it is a little well, bit. Well, we're both. We're Excel yeah. and United. Yeah. So it's like our electric is Excel and then our gas is United. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then so utilities is a 97.9, like I said. Colorado as a whole being 98.4. So um, below national average, which is awesome. And then, of course, healthcare, my passion. It's sitting at a 93.1 right now where Colorado as a whole is 95.8. Um, I will tell you that you know being us being in Thornton uh, we talk about that a lot like I actually drive my children over to a pediatric clinic here in Broomfield because they have some a lot of five-star doctors here mm -hmm. um, in Broomfield well, then uh, they just build that new SEL hospital over by the first bank center uh, right off you know where Wadsworth like goes through they, there's a brand new hospital right there it's not a hospital, but it's the SCL. It's a SCL. I thought it's an SCL system, but it might be an urgent care or something, or like offices. But there's not a hospital it's pretty, there yet. Pretty big. Well, then maybe I don't know, but <laughs> um, I'll check it out. That's so what I do know. Healthcare. <laughs> they are nicer clinics. Um, to be honest with you, um, some of the clinics a little bit easier, a little bit older, um, which is good. That's still established, but they have some nicer new clinics because a lot of the Northern Broomfield is still putting in a lot of new healthcare stuff. Um, and so for it to be under national average and still have like five-star doctors and nicer buildings, that's a pretty good deal. So. Kind of. <laughs> He's on my, he is on me today. Usually it's this me that's scene. pounding. If you go back and watch our Lafayette video, I am like going to town. I'm like, bah, bah, bah. So. <laughs> it's because I drink coffee. I got a nitro. There you go. Yep, those nitros will do it. All right, cool. So of course, you guys are always wanting to know about the real estate and housing in the Broomfield area. So Broomfield right now, um, it's right around average price point of 586. And like I said, with that, it's all grouped in together. Townhouses, condos, uh, single family homes. We put that all together. So it is a little bit higher and that's why housing is a little bit higher than the national average. It's still not bad as far as like I said Denver of course is more expensive it's on more on the higher higher five price points go check out our Boulder video that's all the way up in the nines so yes it is a little bit more expensive but like I said you always pay what you get for um, the houses here are, are pretty much newer unless you get a little bit further south of you know, 120th but um, pretty much 2,000 up all these newer houses like north of 136 they're all pretty much brand new and then you got Anthem too yeah. which is insane it's just like this super community right they've got like three pools like i said we also covered in that one of our other videos but um 
it's just all kind of get driven up a little bit more and it's still pretty reasonable though coming into colorado like i said i mean compared to denver and boulder you're gonna get a good bang for your buck i think and yeah you're gonna have beautiful a, houses a lot more house here you know obviously in the northern area um in comparison to denver or to even boulder so oh, yeah. these are you know some of the things that we tell people is like you know if, if you're not willing to pay those you know larger price points for homes such as boulder and denver in some areas um, these are great places to go that aren't far from either one of them the anthem you know just to speak like we did the top three neighborhoods in denver metro north and broomfield made the cut for the top three neighborhoods there's so many neighborhoods in denver metro north and mm -hmm. anthem by far was one of it's, those oh man it's just it's insane it's yeah awesome yeah, yeah and then we, so. we covered base it made two, oh, made two anthem and right. baseline yeah so like baseline like i said we mentioned it's just like uh it's the, kind of the, the meeting point between denver and uh and broomfield but it goes out to boulder as well too I mean, two amazing neighborhoods in Bloomfield. Yeah, so. and I think the pricing, the average pricing, especially with including all the different types of homes, mm -hmm. you know, Anthem being the traditional home like we talk about, um, and then Baseline being a little bit more of your low maintenance, kind of Denver-like home. Oh yeah. Um, so, you know, there's just a lot of variation. More of your condos, your townhouses, and yeah. but that place is gonna be freaking amazing. We'll have to do another video when it, when it comes, so. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, very cool. So then now we're gonna dive into transportation, which is, right around 116.1 um like i said with that i mean it's what is it about 30 minutes from denver on mm -hmm. i-25 yeah. so you're looking at about a 30 minute drive down to denver so that's probably you know definitely with your gas prices and stuff that's all kind of incorporated into that the light rail station isn't up here no because it's going to go to the first bank center they have the rtd station over at the first bank center and stuff but as far as like your heart of broomfield and stuff like that i mean you're taking a car <laughs> you know yeah. it's like there's not much walkability unless you get into Rista and stuff so your transportation is going to be a little bit higher um, as compared to the national average so. the good thing though is like even with the first bank center you have uh 36. oh yeah highway 36 so that's yeah. helpful yeah. so depending on where you're trying to go to uh broomfield you're either going to be taking i-25 cutting through a little bit of northern westminster into broomfield mm -hmm. or you're going to be just taking taking our shortcut remember we talk about that shortcut highway 36 that kind of gets you in between, so I-25 North, I'll just spend a second telling you. Um, I-25 goes north and south. Do you, do you want me to come? Yeah, do you want to oh. do my I-70? No, do my I-70. There's oh. I-70 <laughs> going east and west. And then, oh, I gotta go this way. And then <laughs> this is, oh yeah, that's good. This is go. uh, Highway 36. Yep. And so Didn't if know you're any- doing vectors here. Uh. <laughs> well, I was looking at the screen, I got turned around. Um, and so anyways, in that, if you're in that square of the, okay, let's see, north, west, side of town highway 36 cuts right through it yeah. so it's like you know we tell people all the time like if you have two options to get to one space it's pretty good well you got westminster on the south side of it and then you got broomfield on the north side yeah. all the way up until boulder so until you yeah. get, like superior and all that stuff so um another thing you really got to know about uh is, is in regards to housing right here is our property taxes property taxes in broomfield right now is 7.15 of course, like I said, I've, I've dove into this a little bit. I think it was in conversation, I dove into it a little bit. You have a metro tax uh, district in a few of these neighborhoods. And what that is, is the special tax assessed because these builders, when they decide to build these houses, they put that onto the homeowners as far as all your infrastructure, right? So all your sewer streets and all that stuff, which typically they would pay, uh, pay for, but they pull out a municipality bond and then they bring that onto the homeowner. So right. unfortunate. So like I said, 7.15 with that metro tax, you're looking at almost double that sometimes it's like 1.4 1.3 all depending on the builder and how much they actually incorporate in that municipality bond so um something good to really look for like i said when you're looking into um the property taxes your sales tax in, in broomfield 8.15 which is actually pretty on par with most of the, most of the cities right uh in, in, in uh, colorado if you go down into jefferson they're usually a lot a lot less down there if you go north of like thornton up into frederick into weld county all stuff it's a little bit less but it's pretty on point with mm -hmm. with the uh, surrounding uh, cities of Denver metro area so yeah yeah so definitely. not not too bad at all but Broomfield's uh that's where we go to the gym too oh yeah we do yeah. we we actually leave Thornton even though the gym is in Thornton <laughs> and we uh come all the way to Broomfield it just I don't know it feels different I don't know why well I, I mean it's, it's the ultimate suburbia like those yeah. those people dreaming about the white picket fences and just that feel of just like community that's what Broomfield is. And Anthem is just it, on steroids. Holy crap. They're like insane yeah, over there with their just, community, which is awesome. I it mean, is so oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, super cool. But they have, uh, what, they got three pools just in the neighborhood? No, I don't even have one. I know. Yeah, we don't have like one. Like, my, my neighborhood's <laughs> like, let's build a pool. We're like, what? Okay. 
I just saw Anthem has its own like advertisement on Facebook. I was like, a neighborhood has an advertisement to move in. Uh, it's just. It's so big yeah. too that you. Yeah. Anyways, we're not gonna get stuck on Anthem. Go check out our top three neighborhoods. We walk you through Anthem. We show you the pool and all of that. So if you're interested, you're like, what's Anthem? Go check out our top three neighborhoods. Uh oh. Um, a little bit, of, a little bit of park services. At least they keep up with their park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, definitely. Anyways, guys, we're gonna head out so these people aren't on camera. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. If there's a video that you want to see or an area that you want to see, you let us know. We are taking requests. It takes us a minute because we do have um, a bunch of requests. And so we are putting them on the list. So please uh, keep following us. If there's a specific area that you're interested in, we want to cover it for you. All right. Sounds good, guys. Have a good one. And until next time, we love you. Bye.